Hello everyone, Ultrawave 7 here, once again in Fallout 4, and I'm going to start construction of the vault, and because I'm going to do this time lapse, I probably won't be talking a whole lot, so you won't hear a lot of high-pitched beep, 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 of me talking to myself, but there might... What are you working on? Here. Go ahead. Do your best. So. Well, you really are doing your best. Good job. So. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? Thank you. 
After the Enclave's destruction, the refugees of Arroyo and Vault 13 resettled, building a new community with the aid of the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. Finding themselves hundreds of miles from their vault, the members of Vault 13 chose to join the villagers in establishing a new community, and their technical expertise, combined with the villagers' survival skills, allowed the new settlement to grow and prosper. Two generations of the same bloodline were reunited, and their savior, the Chosen One, became Elder, presiding over the village in the years to come. With the destruction of the conspiracy to destroy the mutants, Broken Hills began to thrive. Then, the uranium ran out. The city, having lost its sole reason for existing, slowly dispersed. The residents carried their riches with them, leaving the place a windswept, desolate ghost town. A few holdouts remained, attempting to eke out a pathetic existence, but eventually, they too disappeared. With Metzger gone, slavery disappeared from the area. Becky's casino bar grew quickly, and Rebecca Dyer's reputation as an honest casino and bar owner 
brought her the business needed to buy out her competition and expand. The den flourished, and it soon gained a reputation for being a tough but honest community. Arroyo's elder lived for many years after the destruction of the Enclave. She was pleased that the ancient separation between Vault 13 and the Vault Dweller had been reconciled, and many were the times she told you that she wished the Vault Dweller were alive to have seen the reconciliation take place. The elder passed away in her sleep, certain that the safety of your new village had been secured and was now flourishing. Many of the older Arroyo residents believe that she now lives in the Vault of the Sky, telling the Vault Dwellers of your brave deeds. Optimizing Gecko's power plant became the first step in forging a spirit of cooperation between Gecko and Vault City. Gecko's increased power production became instrumental in helping Vault City's expansion. The harsh xenophobia of many of Vault City's leaders faded into obscurity, while ghoul and human labored side by side to create a center of learning and tolerance where once had stood only enmity and distrust. You still hear mention of Harold from time to time. Apparently, the tree growing from his head has gotten larger, and if rumors are to be believed, fruit is growing from it. The seeds are said to be remarkably tough, and several of them have taken root even in the most barren stretches of the wasteland. The destruction of the Enclave erased all trace of President Richardson from history. Now the title of President is used simply as a boogeyman to frighten children.